Hello class, I'm going to do a recording for section 1.8 uh, lesson or the, the 1.8 lesson and that's called tests for divisibility and this is for your co -rec. So if you look at your page 19 in your co -rec book, that's where this lesson is located at and notice how you're going to need uh, this Roman numeral page uh, 11, XI is 11 and it's called rules of divisibility. And so it says here, uh, make use of the rules of divisibility handout on page seven. But I think I think that's that's an error there. I don't think it's in page seven. It should be page this Roman numeral X I. Okay, um, for this lesson, evenly divisible means uh, no remainder is present. Uh, the remainder equals zero. Okay, upon the completion of long division. And divide evenly means after long division is performed, then the remainder is zero. So these are keywords, divide evenly, evenly divisible. Okay, those, are, those are keywords for this lesson. Um, and it does say additional paper is required to show your work using ideas from the rules of divisibility. Okay, so I'm gonna show my work on another sheet of paper for all these problems. Um, and if you look at number one, um, I know I have the answer circled there, but I have to go through and show you the work for that. It wants you to use a test for divisibility to determine which numbers divide evenly into the number 859. And it wants you to show your work uh, for each divisibility rule or, or test, okay? So what that means is um, look at all the numbers we're testing. We're trying to find out if, if these numbers, two, three, four, five, six, nine, and 10, do, do any of these numbers uh, go into 859 uh, where you would have a, when you do your long division and, and your subtraction where you have a remainder of zero. Uh, so are any of these numbers gonna go into 859 evenly with the remainder of zero. And that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, now this is recording showing that no, that's not going to happen, but we have to show our work using the divisibility rules. Now, if you want to use your calculator as a check, you can definitely use your calculator as a check, and I will too. But when we take the quiz and you show your work for this quiz, you're going to have a few problems from this section on quiz number two. You do have to show like write sentences, like write a paragraph, write sentences about this page here uh, to show whether it's divisible or not. Okay, so this paper says that um, these divisibility rules let one test if one number is divisible by another without having to perform the actual long division on the problem itself, because that is tedious, right, to do the long division. Um, divisible by means that when one divides a number by another, the result, I mean, your quotient, it is a whole number with the remainder of zero. So after performing a long division. So if you're able to do long division and end up with a remainder and R of zero, that's, that's a good thing. That means it's, it's evenly divisible. And that means we can make a note of that, okay? So the rule says a whole number is divisible by two if and only if the one's place value digit of the whole number being tested is any of these digits, zero, two, four, six, or eight. Because if it is, that means that the whole number um, is an even number and two goes into even numbers evenly for the remainder of zero, okay? So if we test that, uh, we're testing number I believe was 859. So this is section or I guess I should say lesson 1.8, right? This is rules for divisibility. Is a test to the visibility. And we look at number one, and the number is 859. 
So we check A, we're checking um, two, okay? So according to what we just saw, we're going to say that 859 is not divisible by two because it's an even it ends And that's not that's not good. So a fifty nine is not divisible by two because it's it's an um, well I should say it's because it's not because it's not Not an even number. It ends in a nine. If it were even, it would have to end in one of these numbers. So it ends in a nine. Okay. So then, so then you can't circle that as an answer choice, right? Right. So then, now if we look at uh, B test for three. So we're going to say either a for the is or is not. Is it is or is not divisible by three? So let's see. The test for three says this. A whole number is divisible by, by three if and only if the sum of the digits of the whole number being tested is divisible by three. So what you have to do is you have to sum sum the numbers, okay? So you want to sum the 859, the digits in the number. Okay, so just add those up. I'll do the same. I'll use my fingers. Okay, it looks like I'm getting 22. Are y'all getting 22 also? Nine and then another nine will be 18 and then four, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that looks like 22. Okay, so that's the sum of the digits. This is that's the sum. You wanna you wanna sum the digits in this number. And you did 859. And now you want to take that 22 and see if you can divide it evenly by three. And it looks like we have point one R in the number. So that's not good because you get a remainder one. That's not good. So you're going to say A59 is not divisible by three. And this is this is your work. You're, you're summing them up and then you're dividing by three and see this remainder is one. You need, you needed, you needed an R needed. You need an R of zero, a remainder, a, a R, a R. to get C. So you can't circle A, you can't circle B. Let's look at C. Four. I'm going to test four. Okay, so a whole number is divisible by four if and only if, this, if the number represented by the last two digits So our last two digits would be 
So if and only if the number represented by the last two digits of the whole number being tested is divisible by four. So you want to take the last two digits, which is 59, and you want to divide that by four. So that's what you want to do. Take the last two digits, which is 59, and then try and divide it by four. Four goes into five one time. Four times one is four. Five minus four is one. Bring down the nine. Four times four is 16. So again, this is not good. So you have a, a remainder of three. You needed, you need a R of zero. So this is not good. You have a remainder of three. So so that means that, that no, it's not. So you're gonna say A59 is not on the right here. A59 is not. Divisible by four. And then here's your, here's your work. You took the last two numbers, 59 and 89, and you tried to divide it by four. And here you have them. And you see you have a different remainder. So you're not able to circle that answer choice, okay? All right, so now you look at D and now you're working with five, testing five. Okay, you look at five, the, the rule says a whole number is divisible by five if and only if the ones place value digit of the whole number being tested is a digit zero or five. In other words, if the whole number being tested ends in a zero or five. Okay, well, our number is 859. 859 doesn't end in a zero or five. So we wanna, we wanna say that, we wanna say 859 is not divisible by five because it doesn't end in a zero or five. Okay, if you look at E, and you can pause the video. If you're still writing, you can pause the video and then start it when you're done. If I look at E though, E is um, six, six. So the test for six says a whole number is divisible by six if and only if the whole number being tested is divisible by both two and three. So you've got to go back to your test for two, which is up here. And you gotta go back to your work for your test of three. And you see how it said that it it is not divisible by two and it's not divisible by three. Okay, so um, you would you're gonna conclude then that um, uh, the number uh, A59 is not divisible by six. I'm gonna say that and the reason why A59 is not. Visible and the number we're testing is six. And the reason why is because it's not 
divisible by both two and three. And then the other thing, I, what I haven't been doing is like a check. If you want to check on your calculator to check that, you should be getting decimals. Like you're, you're not going to get a remainder of zero if they're not divisible. So you, that means you should get decimals. So if I do um, A59 divided by two, see how I get a decimal? So I, I should go back over here in my work and put that as a check. So right here, I put a check. I can do this um, 859 divided by 2. Okay? And they say that gives you 429.5. And if I do 3, 859 divided by 3. That gives me 286.3 repeating. I'm gonna write like that. So but you see you get a decimal. And if I do A59 divided by four, it gives me 214.75. And then 859 divided by 5, 171.8. And then for E, we were testing 2 and 3. So that's fine. We already showed that up there at the top. So 2 and 3. So when we go to F, and let's see, E, I forgot. E, we were testing six. Let me do this. E, we were testing six. And then F, we're testing nine and let's look at the, what the test for nine says the test for nine says that a whole number is divisible by nine if and only if the sum of the digits of the whole number being tested is divisible by nine so we've seen this part before the sum of the digits we saw that for three the sum of the digits so we have to add up all the digits and which we already did that. We already know it's 22. And then we have to divide that this time though by nine. So what you could do on this one, um, either you can go straight to uh, 22 divided by nine, that would be fine. Or you wanna go back and put eight and five and nine, which is 22, but you don't, if you already did this on number, three or for B, if you already did this up here and you got 22, there, I don't see a need that you have to show that again here for your work. You can just take that 22 and then start dividing it by nine. Nine times two is 18. 19, 22, 1, 22. That's like that's a remainder of four. And so that's not that's not good, right? Because you want a remainder of zero for it to be divisible. So you want to say something like um, 859 is not divisible by nine. Period. And then again, you want to show the calculator. 859 divided by 9. 95.44, or repeating, 95.4 
right. And then um, there's one more. Uh, which would be G, maybe should be 10, 10. Let's test 10. It's more paper. So this is less than 1.8 continued. Uh, we're still at number one, but now we're looking at G, right? Which is 10. Okay, let's look at the rules. A whole number is divisible by 10 if the ones place value of the whole number being tested is the digit zero. In other words, if the whole number being tested ends in zero. Well, well, 859, 859 um, does not end in a zero, right? So that means it's not divisible by 10. So you would say that 859 is not. Divisible by 10 because it doesn't end in zero. So that means that for this problem, we ended up with on nose, like we couldn't circle anything on the first, first grouping. So that's why I have, that's why I have circled H. That's why I have H circled because none of these work. Okay, so you want to number one, you want to circle H, which is none. Okay. Oh, and then and then on A fifty, I can go back and use the calculator just to double check A fifty nine divided by ten. If I do that, you're gonna get decimal. If you get 85.9. And did I check the other one? Did I check number nine? Let me go back to uh, this test. We checked five. And we didn't have to check six because we're using two and three. I guess you could, you guess you could, uh, we did do nine, okay. We did check by nine. I guess we could do that six also. We could have done A59 divided by six. This has one six with repeating on the sixes for that one. Why don't we circle the moon? All right. Okay, guys, then I'm going to show you number four. And uh, I know I have things marked here already, but we're going to do four. Uh, and I'm sorry, I have things marked already on that one. I couldn't find my, my empty sheet. But why don't you go ahead and write, write um, this comment down? on the side. Can you write that down? And I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a, a drink of water and go ahead and write that down and we'll come right back. So let me see if I can see I'll just probably have to leave my video running. No here just let me do this. 
districts in Mother real quick. But go ahead and write this comment down on the side. And this is this is page 19 of your OREC. OREC book. Okay, class, I'm, I'm back. Um, I'm back. Okay, so for number four, it says determine the set of four numbers that are divisible by the numbers shown. And sometimes, sometimes students say, well, they couldn't tell what, what number we were testing, but it's, it's going to be right after this um, colon. So maybe it's a little bit further out or this is a good area here. But I know sometimes in the past you say, well, I didn't know what number we were testing, but you can see it's right after the colon and it's two. And show your work using appropriate divisibility rules or, or tests, okay? So the good, what I like about this homework problem is that it tells you how many answers you wanna have. When you're done with your work, they're telling you you should have found four answers. So you can see here, your teacher did circle four things. So that's, that's helpful that they tell you how many answers to, you're expected to find. And then because you're testing two, I put some notes here then, this is like part of showing your work. Uh, the rule for two says divisibility rule, to summarize number two, it says a number is divisible by two if it ends in any of these digits, zero, two, four, six, eight. In other words, if it's an even number, right? And so, and so what I did is I just, I highlighted this is also the ones place value. You know how in our reading, sometimes they talk about the ones digit, the ones digit. These, these are all um, the ones place value digit. That's the ones place. All these get yeah, I mean, highlighted in yellow at the end are called the ones place value digit, okay? Um, and so uh, I highlight them and, and if if they ended up being any of these reflective of even, then I then that was going to be an answer. So you see, this number ends in three. That means it's not even. That means that's if it's not even, it's odd. This one ends in a seven. That's odd. This one ends in a one. That's odd. This one ends in a one. That's odd. This one ends in a six. So if it ends in a six, it's even. This one ends in a one. That's odd. Now, if it's even, that means you want to circle it. That means that two will go into it evenly. Okay, and I can demonstrate that here. Divide it by two. Two goes into this three times. Three times two is six. Seven minus six is one. Bring down the seven. 
2 goes into 17 8 times. 2 times 8 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. Bring down 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. Bring down the 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. And if I double check that on my calculator, if I do seven, seven, six, six divided by two, that's 3,833. 3,883. Okay. So, so, yeah, so what we did, I guess it's like a check here, right, when we're doing that, is anything that got circled, like G got circled, because it ends in a zero. So that was an, that's an even number. This one ended in a zero. 500 is an even number. 9,368 ends in an eight is an even number. So all, all even numbers um, are divisible by two, okay? Okay, so now if I do another problem like number two, let's go back to number two. And it says, use again, use the test for divisibility to determine whether numbers divide evenly into the given number, 21,414. And then they want you to show work for each divisibility rule or each test, okay? So if I look at number two, or if I look at A, two part A, I'm, I want to test two. So I'm looking at number two, and the number is 21,414. And in part A, you're testing two. Okay. And so if you look at this highlighted number here, okay, so you want to say that 21,414 is divisible by two because it's an even number. So 21,414 is divisible by two because it's it, it's an even number. See it in four. Okay. And that's that's what that's that's what they want. You're writing a sentence. Now if you look at um, so that means you can circle that, okay? Can okay, I look at B, you're testing three. Do you remember the rule for three? A whole number is divisible by three if and only if the sum of the digits of the whole number being tested is divisible by three. So you want to add up the digits. So you want to add up the digits. So for three, you want to add up um, the two, the one, the four, the one, and the four. So I'm going to add those up. Did you get 12? Okay, I got 12. Okay, then you take that 12 and then you divide it by three. And that goes into it four times with an R, C R, your remainder. That's that's what we want. This is this is this is we want R to be zero. That's a good thing. I want that. That means that means that three does go into that number. So you say twenty one thousand four fourteen that it is divisible 
by three. Okay. And then this is the reason why, well, this is your work. The rule says add up all its digits and then see if three will go into the sum of all its digits. And if it does with the remainder of zero evenly, then you're done. Yes, we've already we've already done that with the Sean over here. Okay. So that means I'm gonna go back and circle that. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try uh, four. And remember with four, the rule says that you have to look at the last two digits, right? So if and only if the number represented by the last two digits is being tested by four. So you just have to check out the last two digits and the number four. So I go to C and we're testing four. It says look at the last two digits, which is uh, 14. The last two digits is 14. And then you try to divide that evenly by four. And I think four times four is 16. That's too, that's too big. So let's try three. Four times three is 12. Two left over. That's your R. So you're not going to add a decimal and a whole bunch of zeros. They're okay with leaving it. Right here, the remainder is two. So that's the good. You needed, you needed, needed a zero. Needed R to be zero. And then, and that's fine, not everything is divisible. So you wanna say 21,414 is not divisible by four, okay? So you're not going to circle it because it did work. But now D is testing five. And didn't, didn't the rule for five say that it has to end in a zero or five? No, if the whole number being tested ends in a zero or five. And, and it doesn't. 21,414 is not visible by five because it doesn't end. Okay, so now I go to E. I'm testing six, six. Okay, so class, remember the rule for six? If and only if the whole number being tested is it is about both the two and the three. So let's look at the two. The two was, yes, it is divisible. And the three, yes, it is divisible. Okay. That, means, that means yes. So six, see, 21,414 is divisible. Six, right? Is divisible by six. And then why? Because it's meaning it is divisible by both two and three. 
two and three. Okay, now the other thing I should be doing is a, a check on the calculator, right? We said no decimals. So I check 21,414. And I try to write that by six. No, no decimal, see that? And I can do that for let's see, for two, yeah. Like this one, this one I'm going to do long division so you can see that. So two goes into two one time. Two times one is two. I'm going to go zero. Bring down the one. Two does not go into one. So it goes zero. Two times zero, zero. One take away zero is one. Bring down the four. Two. And let's see. Yeah, I think I have to have an extra zero here. So one take away zero is one. And then you bring down the next number. So two goes into 14 seven times. Seven times two is 14. Bring down the one. That is equal to two does it go to four. That is zero. Excuse me. Okay. Two times zero is zero. One minus zero is one. And then bring down the four. And two goes into the 14 seven times. And if I check the calculator. Right over two. So I've got the same thing. And I can I can also divide the one for three. I didn't do that for three. As these are checks, right? This is these are like checks, right? Twenty-one thousand four fourteen divided by three. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it starts here. Seven, one, three, eight. And then for four. Divided by four. That one gives you a decimal. Okay, four, one, two, three, four, six, five. So that doesn't work. See, and that's why we said it's not divisible because you get a, a decimal. Okay, so whereas over here you get counting numbers, natural, natural counting numbers. Natural counting numbers. We're here to do decimals. That's why this is a no. And also five. Nope. Yeah, decimal. Four, two, eight, two, point eight. That's why it's a no. And then the six divided by six. Three, five, six, nine. So you kind of line up. See how I count one, two, three, four. So I count one, two, three, four. So it kind of starts here. Three on top of this is kind of in that order. Okay. 
but but here it, it is see you got a, a county number county number so so far we have a b and e a b and e for six okay now i need to check the nine Continue. F, and we're checking for nine. And the number was twenty-one thousand four hundred and fourteen. And we're just te testing for nine. You remember what happens with nine? Where you have to add up all the digits and see if you can divide it by nine. So if I add up. If and only of the sum of the digits of the whole number, so you have to add them all up, and then you have to divide it by nine. So let's see. So we added two and one and four and one and four. We add this up. We should get what we got earlier. It was twelve, right? Was it twelve? Yeah. And then you take that twelve and you try to divide it by nine. Nine goes into 12 one time. How many times one is nine? And you're interested in a remainder of nine. 10 going 12, 13, 14. Looks like you have a remainder of five. And that's not good. It's not good. You need R to be zero. So that's not good. So it doesn't look like it's divisible by nine. So you want to say that 21,414 is not. Visible by nine. And you're showing your work. It said to add up all the digits in the number. You did you add up all these digits? And you take that number, that result, that sum, and try and divide it by nine. And look at your remainder. You want a remainder of zero. You didn't get that, you got five. So therefore it's not divisible. Okay. And then and then as a check, you can use your calculator as a check, 21,414 divided by nine, you should, you should get a decimal. point three repeating. So you got a decimal. Okay. And then after F, let's see number two, we're going to do, a, so don't circle that, 10. Okay, do you remember the rule for 10? Then it said it had to end in zero. So a whole number is divisible by 10 if the ones place value digit of the whole number being tested is a digit zero. So in other words, if the whole number being tested, if it ends in a zero, and I don't think this number ends in a zero, 21,414, it ends in a four. Yep. And you can say that um, 21,414 is not divisible by 10 because it doesn't in in a zero but a four instead so that's a little bit more info but that's okay we want to write that down and then you can and then as a check check calculator 21,414 divided by 10 One, two, three, four, four circles right here. Two, one, for each column, a number for each column, a number for each column, and decimal returns. But anytime you get decimal, it's not, it's not good. This exercise.
Okay, and then if I do one last one, um, so I did two, two of those type, and then I'm gonna do two of these types. So we're gonna talk about four. Yeah, we couldn't circle anything else, so we just got those three. So let me do one kind of like this, and one of them. Okay, let's see. I guess it'd be, it'd be eight, look at eight. Determine a set of, of three numbers. So you should end up having three answers. They're divisible by the number shown, 10. Should work using appropriate divisibility rules. Okay, well, let's look at the rule for 10. What does 10 say? Didn't it say how to end zero? So a whole number is divisible by 10 if the ones place value digit of the whole number being tested is the digit zero. In other words, if the whole number being tested ends in a zero, okay? So it would end in a zero. So I'm gonna write that down. Um, our number is divisible by 10. If it ends in a zero, right? So write that down so we said. So then you just have to you just have to look, you just have to write that down for your reason. Write that down for your reason and look at your numbers and and uh, you're highlighting the last all the last digits. All the last ones. Okay. And you want to see which one's in and a zero. So it looks like the first one we see is E, that ends in zero. And then G, that ends in zero. H. All those in and zero. So the number is divisible by 10. If it ends in a zero, right? Okay, so this so this minimal work on this one. This is you write your rule down, and they kind of tell you how many to use. I hope that helps with your lesson. So don't forget you have a. Uh, well, when we do take this quiz, quiz two, don't forget you can use this this sheet, this uh, divisibility rule sheet. So you want to have it out um, for the full credit. Um, you have to write your sentences. You have to write your sentences, or if it's a problem like this, then you write, explain the wrong side. And, and even then you sometimes have to do a little kind of writing calculation, but you've got to show your work. This is like an essay type. You've got to show your work. I really want you to do that. Okay. And then there's some practice problems. So forget those that take home the take home sheet or practice problems, page 21. And don't forget you have your you know, ebook has, or no, not your ebook, your co rec book has a practice quiz, right? Your co rec book has some practice quizzes at the back that you can do. Okay. Great. And I think that's it.